Jonas and Pierre with the Beer and TV Ramble here on this wonderful day. Looking at the Back 40 Truck Stop Honey Brown Ale. Uh, this beer came out in 2010. <clears throat> 2010. Uh, this is one of the uh, Back 40 uh, Brewery. Uh, came on the scene in about 2008. Um, they were doing a lot of craft beers in different styles, you know, being sold at their brewery, but not sold, but you know what I'm saying, just being, um, prepared at their brewery, um, you know, for people to come and sample at their, at their facility, but they couldn't sell it to the mass public. Um, so, uh, um, as we all know the story of the state of Alabama, <laughs> Um, the brewery actually is made is in Alabama, Gad, Gadsden, Gadsden, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Alabama. Uh, you saw me did a review of the uh, Naked Pig Pale Ale, so this is another one of their other popular beers. Um, if you live in the state of Alabama, um, you probably see other variants of their beers, but the two most popular that I see on the shelves is this, the Truck Stop Honey, um, in, uh, brown ale as well as the pale ale, the naked pig. So, um, as we all know, uh, before, to <clears throat> before 2009, uh, beers within the state of Alabama were, uh, you couldn't sell or produce beers that were 6% and over in terms of uh, alcohol by volume. Um, at that time, the state, was you know known to be known as the state of you know um you know we'll sell Bud Light we'll sell Coors Light and Milwaukee's Best and Keystone you know Bud you know that type of beers but they weren't selling any beers that were over over the uh, over the six percent limit even Colt Forty Five which many look at as a um, 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 Cold Four Five was kind of in between on the um, on on the uh, on 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 the border. <laughs> what I'm looking for on the border, uh, if you will. Um, some sites have Cold Forty Five at five point nine. Some say is at six point one percent. I think it's six percent. So it was right in between. So you can go either way, um, but pretty much was a, a light beer, you know, in you know, a regular lager, some would say it. But there were other malt liquors at the time, but mostly Colt 45 was the only one that was being sold in this in, here in the state of Alabama. But, uh, you know, within that time, like I said, the state, you know, before 2009, that's only beers you can get. Everything was all light lagers, light beers, you know, Budweiser's and, uh, you know, Milwaukee's you know, best and, and those styles of beer were being sold. So something like this was very hard to find. Uh, this beer is uh, 6% ABV by volume, uh, gets in a very good score in Beer Advocate. I think it's an 81 score in Beer Advocate, 80, 81. So they like this a lot. It's an English brown ale style. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Been outside most of the day today, so I haven't really done much of anything really today um, um just been doing uh, some stuff around the yard me and the missus uh, she had an off day yesterday and earlier today so now she's getting ready heading to work tonight so i'm just been here um, a couple of days before the christmas and uh so your review but um as you can see on the style right here, you can see by my glass, a little champagne glass here is a little, had this in the fridge, nice little head right over here you can see. A little, so very dark English pale ale, so let's take a whiff. Smell a little honey. Sweetness to it. 
a lot of malt already in this beer. So on to the taste. Not bad. Um, I'm not going to compare this to say to Newcastle Brown Ale, which probably is in the same style, but which is also a very good beer, by the way. But you know, it's kind of in that range. It has a very pungent scent. It's not bad. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Pretty pretty decent lager. Pretty decent ale. Um you know, like I said, uh the uh, the city, the state of Alabama, and as you've seen over the last couple of years, has really grown to a big place for craft beers here. I mean, obviously we're probably as the running term or joke about the state of Alabama that we're always last to get all the good stuff or the good shit, you know, when it comes to beer, wine, you know, hard liquor, you know, you name it, whatever it is, because, you know, you know, politics being what it is here, very conservative, but more so kind of like the Bible belt, if you will, as people view it, um, you know, so stuff like this, you know, doesn't, is kind of, you know, and then with the company being here in the state, you know, it's kind of, you know, it takes a while for it to get, you know, to get, uh, to get acclimated to some good quality beers. Um, my, my good friend, Ronald J. Terrio and my even Marie Devon and even, um, Thomas Metal and, you know, Massachusetts Beer Review would all would agree you know, in the areas where they live in right now, being as diverse as it, as it is, and I'm be, me being from New Jersey as well, me being living in the New Jersey, New York tri-state area, you know, we're able to get a lot of these things, you know, we don't have to worry about all the politics, you know, whatever, and we can get a good, you know, style, a good sort of uh, try different styles of beer. Nothing dissing Bud, Budweiser and Bud Light, and I'm sure they have their fan bases. I'm sure people, you know, uh, lo love their love their beers and and whatnot. Um, you know, the Budweisers, the Keystone Lights, and uh, Milwaukee's Best, and Miller Lights, and Bush Lights, and you know, uh, and whatnot. You know, obviously those are the things that you'll see mostly when you go to any grocery store. That's pretty much what's on the shelves and, and what people are buying. High Life, more middle of genuine draft, you know, people, you know, they'll, they'll continue buying what they want to buy. But I also say to folks, you know, try these styles of beer, you know, the truck stops, you know, not only being made, you know, from, a, you know, obviously in your home state, or, you know, support local because, you know, they really are the ones that are really put out some good, good stuff. And, and yes. Maybe the quality control of the big breweries is probably second to none, probably well done compared to, you know, some some of the, the craft breweries, you know, but um, if you want to really try some good beer, sample, good quality taste and whatnot, you know, I think, or try something out of the ordinary, you know, beers like this. Are, are you know are pretty decent so uh, anyway getting back to this beer here I'm rambling on uh, nice flavor the color you can see you, you have a little scent of honey a little taste of honey hey it was not a group back in the day taste of honey you know um, Like I said, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Newcastle Brown Ale. 
has that sort of scent to it. You know, a little scent of sweetness, but it's not bad. So, you know, I'm not going to, you know, what can you pair this with? I said maybe, uh, I don't know. What can you pair a brown ale with? Maybe a chicken pot pie, beef uh, beef stew, uh, shepherd's pie, whatever. A Reuben sandwich, you know, you tell me. You know, this isn't, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all, so. Not bad at all. So um, I'm going to give this beer about a nine. Um, I'm sure the other folks who have ever tried it, if you're in the state of Alabama, you know, going through the area, driving through Mobile, Birmingham, uh, Huntsville, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, uh, stop at one of the grocery stores. And if they have this or any package store, pick this up. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's a very good beer. Very good beer company. So, uh, according to the back, this medium bod bodied English brown ale is smooth and easy to enjoy. <clears throat> Wildflower honey is used to complement the roasted malts and sub subtle hop profile. Whether you're preparing a delicious meal or enjoying a cool evening by the fire. And of course, look at some of the pairings with it like anything poultry, seafood. You know, prawns, grouper, um, you know, fried, you know, fried flounder with some uh, fries and coleslaw, you know, tartar sauce on top of the fish of the flounder and some, uh, you know, ketchup, hot sauce, Tabasco, of course, um, a little uh, shrimp bisque crab bisque soup you know this would be a good beer to go with it you know very pleasant so yeah like i said i'm gonna give this beer a nine i think it's very enjoyable so if you're in if you had this beer before what's up honey uh tell me about it leave your comments on the bottom uh, and this honest beer the beer and tv ramble can keep on watching and as always cheers bing